As part of the Cisco Express certification, you will be required to have an understanding of Cisco Meraki Systems Manager solution. In this video, we will discuss how by adding mobile device management to its IT cloud managed offering, Cisco Meraki with Systems Manager defines and simplifies mobile device management by bringing a solution to market that impresses with its extensive feature set and seamless cross stack integration. Let's take a look at some of the specifics. When we were building Systems Manager, we wanted to make sure that the solution is inclusive of all platforms. Therefore, we support all major mobile and desktop platforms today. From Windows to OS X and iOS to Android and Chrome, we have it all and we have you covered. Some of the major features of the platform are the ability to provide for device security as well as mobile and desktop management. In addition, we also make it very easy to rapidly provision devices and networks, secure and distribute files and applications, and keep track of software and hardware inventory. When we talk about the enterprise, there are several features in the Systems Manager portfolio that stand out. With our solution, it is very easy to rapidly provision and enroll devices in Systems Manager. There are two ways in which we achieve that. The first one, by utilizing the built-in tools available in the Meraki dashboard to easily enroll devices in Systems Manager. These are things such as SMS and email enrollment, as well as QR code scanning and manual enrollment via a network code. Second, we also have the ability to utilize the integration of Systems Manager with the rest of the Meraki full stack, allowing us to use Sentry SSIDs in conjunction with our Meraki access points to easily enroll devices and connect, uh, that connect to our designated SSID. Another benefit of our solution is that we make it very easy to centrally manage and troubleshoot all of your devices using some of our SM built-in tools, such as remote desktop, command line interface integration, notifications, and others. With Systems Manager, it's very easy to apply dynamic security to your devices based on established policies or geofence parameters. We also give you the ability to take actions both on software and hardware level on the devices that violate your policies or geofence. Finally, there are a lot of integration points between Systems Manager and the rest of the network hardware, regardless of whether that is integration with the Meraki full stack or with other hardware tools and services, and services that, that we have built support for. Let's take a look at some of the more specific features in each category. Systems Manager provides features that allow for total management and control over your mobile and desktop devices. Some of the built-in tools that are currently available are things such as remote desktop, the ability to remote view access and troubleshoot hosts, remote wipe devices in the case of theft or loss of the device, as well as the ability to power control the devices and send notifications. All of these settings make it easy to administer and quickly provision and force settings to enroll devices and simplify troubleshooting when problems arise. There are a variety of different ways in which you can manage content and applications on your mobile devices from Systems Manager. On the application management side, we allow you to deploy both mobile and desktop applications to all devices with just a few clicks. We also have support for managed apps, configurations, volume app purchasing, as well as distribution of in-house developed uh, enterprise apps or software. On the content management site, we allow the Systems Manager Administrator to provision device access policies related to what features and applications can be used on the enrolled device. These set of features uh, also allow for conditional access to files and policies, as well as the ability to provision enterprise file sync and sharing across devices using our backpack features. When we designed Systems Manager, we knew that one of the major benefits of using the solution will come from the built-in integration with our Meraki full stack. This integration allows us to deliver powerful enterprise features and automation to our customers 
without the complexity in setup and configuration required with competitive solutions. Using the Systems Manager Sentry integration gives you three-click configuration and distribution of commonly used features, such as VPN and Wi-Fi configuration for mobile and desktop devices, mobile device management enrollment automation, network policy inform enforcements based on posture against established geofencing or security policies, as well as email and file distribution. This concludes our overview of the Meraki Systems Manager solution. In this video, we discuss some of the main features and benefits of Systems Manager and how the solution helps revolutionize the mobile device management industry. We also discuss the features, built-in tools, and cross-stack integration, which are some of the main things that differentiate our platform from competitive solutions on the market. Thank you for watching. Hello, my name is Pavlin, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to effectively demo Systems Manager. We will split this demo into three main sections. First, we will talk about how easy it is to automate device and application provisioning. Second, we'll look at how Systems Manager provides for centralized device security management. And finally, we'll review the different ways in which we can provide user management for the devices. On the device and application provisioning side, Systems Manager streamlines the enrollment of devices through the automation made possible by the tight integration between our products. Additionally, we make it very easy to push applications and content to restrict usage based on user groups. Let's take a look at some of the tools. To enroll devices in Systems Manager, you would go to Systems Manager Add Devices, which will allow you to see the settings that are required for enrollment for all the platforms supported. At the moment, we support iOS, Windows, Android, OS X, and Chrome, and every single one of these platforms has its own tab under the Add Devices page to describe to you what are the different ways in which you can enroll these devices. For this example, I'm gonna use iOS, and the most popular way to enroll iOS devices is by going to m.meraki.com and typing this network ID code. Now, if we want to automate this, there are several different ways in which we can do that. We can provide this QR code to all of our users and then use the Meraki MDM app on the phone to scan the QR code and enroll that device. Additionally, we can also email a link to our users or send a text message to our users as well to uh, be able to enroll the devices. When it comes to further automating things and really taking advantage of that network integration between all of our products, we can go to wireless access control and set up a Sentry SSID that will allow us to automatically enroll all devices that connect to that SSID. So if we look at our Meraki corporate SSID over here, we can say Systems Manager Sentry Enrollment as the uh, splash page SSID option, which will then prompt all devices connecting to this SSID to automatically enroll before they're being let onto the network. When it comes to application deployment, we can deploy applications by going to Systems Manager, Apps, and there's several different types of applications that can be deployed depending on the platform that is being enrolled. And the different types of applications can be listed under the Add New button on the top right-hand corner. We can see that in Systems Manager, we support iOS applications, iOS enterprise applications for those developers uh, that would like to develop their own applications and push them out to all the different clients that they may have in their organization. We also support Android applications, OS X applications, as well as Windows applications. If we want to get summary reports on our Systems Manager network, the place for that would be under Systems Manager Summary. This page provides us with a lot of summary reports that allows us to understand what is happening on our Systems Manager network, what kind of devices are enrolled, what kind of software we're running, 
which ones are the new devices, top platforms, and other useful information that could be exported for your own bookkeeping. When it comes to providing centralized device security management, there are several tools that we can utilize in Dashboard to do that. The first thing is policies. Policies allow you to assess the security posture of your devices at any one time and to see whether the devices are compliant with particular policies that you might have configured. That could be done by clicking Add New and adding a new policy. And as you guys can see, there are several different things that we can check against in order to make sure that our device is compliant or not compliant with. Make sure that you stress to your customers how extensive this list is of the things that we can check and how easy it is to provide dynamic security assessment on all the devices enrolled in Systems Manager. Another tool that we can utilize is Systems Manager Geofencing. Geofencing allows you to check and make sure that your devices are within a geofence that you've pre-selected. To do that, you want to go to Add New, give it a name, and then it's down here where you can specify the geofence area. You can go to geocode, type in an address, for example, San Francisco, California. We can hit submit, and this will put our geofence on top of San Francisco. And then we can use these sliders to enlarge and to move around the geofence to further adjust it into the exact area that we want to. This will allow to check whether devices are within this geofence or not. And then if they're not, or they are, we can apply different profiles with different settings to them to secure the devices, add restrictions or remove restrictions. And to add restrictions, we would need to go to Systems Manager Settings, where we can configure those restrictions in the forms of payloads that are being pushed out to the devices using profiles. You can configure all of your profiles under this section and you can add different restrictions to these profiles to secure the device in the exact in the exact way that you need. If we go here to add settings, we can for example add restrictions and we can maybe uh, for this example not allow the use of camera. So when we save, this is going to generate a profile that's going to get pushed down to the device and remove the camera from that device. From the perspective of users, we can manage these users in Dashboard in two different ways. Under Systems Manager Owners is where you would configure all the different users that can be then assigned to the different devices in order to keep track which device belongs to which user. There are different ways in which we can add these users. One is manually. Another one would be through an import via CSV. A third one would be using the volume purchase program through Apple. We can import all the users from there. We can also use Apple uh, for schools and import from there, or we can sync this with AD. And the way to do this is by going to Systems Manager General. Down here under the user authentication settings, we can change the authentication to Active Directory, which will prompt all users to authenticate with their AD credentials in order to be enrolled into Systems Manager. Now, if we go back to our users screen over here, we can then, upon enrollment of these users, then sync the AD groups and assign the groups that are from AD to these devices here in Systems Manager, and then based on these groups, we can assign them different settings uh, upon enrollment. With this, I'm going to conclude this video. I hope what was shown made you more comfortable in demoing Systems Manager for your customers.